Welcome to morning stretch. Okay, we're gonna start in child's pose today. So whatever that looks like for you, whether it is knees together or knees released out to the side of the mat. Um, maybe you don't like child's pose, but puppy pose or bleeding heart, that works for you. So everybody join me to get us grounded and started for the day. And know that our legs are gonna get a good workout, our core is probably gonna get a good workout. Um, take just a moment and remind yourself this is your practice. I'm just here to guide you. This is your practice. So really focus on what your body may need today, okay? Keep your eyes on your own prize. So if you haven't already extended the body into your child's pose, Big toes meet, knees are released out to the side of the mat. And then engage the arms, reaching the arms away from the body, release the forehead towards the ground. Maybe the forehead meets, maybe it does not. If you need more space to sink down, you can release the big toes from behind and allow the hips to open even more. Find a place that you can Engage and then release and sink into the earth. Forehead to the, to the earth or to the pillow. Allow that connection. Allow the connection to stabilize you, to ground you, to soften you. Release any tension from the jaw. Soften the skin of the face. With each exhale, try to release the body down a little bit more towards the earth. Notice where your breath is today. Notice if the breath is already coming into the stomach, or maybe you're just breathing shallowly into the chest. No wrong answers, we're just observing here. Maybe follow the breath in through the nose and follow the breath out through the nose. Just by noticing the breath, perhaps you're also noticing that the breath is slowing down. Check in with the jaw, release. Maybe bring separation between the top and bottom teeth. Maybe release the tongue from away from the top of the mouth. Since we are starting the day, we don't always do this, but maybe invite an intention in for the day. Intentions are maybe short little mantras or phrases that we can connect to throughout the practice and maybe even throughout the rest of the day. It can be as simple as inhale and exhale. It could be I am at peace or peace begins with me. It could be something like I am strong and steady. I am able. So find something that suits you for today, suits your mood, your mental state, your physical state, something that brings you comfort and maybe positivity, maybe some courage. Taking deep breaths in through the nose, long, slow exhales. So really slow the breath down, bring that energy in through the body. So deep breath in through the nose, expand the stomach, the ribs sip into the chest. Long, slow exhales to release. Knowing with each deep breath that you take, you are circulating beautiful energy into the body. You're releasing stale air, you're releasing things that you no longer need whether that's physical or emotional, deep inhales and exhales, to center and calm. Two more times. With the next exhale, slowly 
slowly bring the forehead away from the mat and slowly walk your hands off to the right hand side, placing left hand on top of right and then allowing the body to sink again. Three deep breaths here. On the third exhale, slowly walk the hands towards through center and off to the left hand side. Right hand on top of left. Allow the body to sink down towards the earth, opening up the side body. And on your next exhale, coming back to center, sliding the hands towards the middle of the mat and then draw the knees underneath. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and then release the chin. So just warming up the neck just a little bit. And you can even place the toes on the mat and start opening up the arches. Um, we are going to do a little bit, since we're doing legs today, I'm also going to focus a little bit on our feet. Um, and then just bring the, for, bring, bring the chin away from the body, looking towards the front of the mat. So no need to really crane the neck, just keeping, keeping the neutral spine and just moving the chin towards the chest, just opening up, maybe releasing one ear to the shoulder and switching sides. Um, so we are going to address the Achilles and the arch today. I wear flip-flops way too much. Maybe you do too, so it'll be good. So with the toes connected, maybe lean back just a little bit. Almost, it's almost like a little baby jackrabbit, I guess. Releasing those hips back, feeling already the arches, getting a good stretch. And again, if you have limitations in your knees, Please make sure that you're taking care of them. You can double up the mat underneath the knees or the wrists for that matter, or bring the blanket or pillow underneath. On the next exhale, coming back to tabletop. Nice long spine. On the exhale, release the chin to the chest, tuck the tailbone under for cat, and then really start to flow. So following the breath on the inhale, we move into cow, so we Scoop the spine. So really start connecting with your breath so that we can start moving into our flow. Cat-cow can be as subtle or exaggerated as you'd like. Exhale. And then release to neutral spine and tabletop. Extend right leg long. And lift, engage the core, lower the right toes down. Lift one more time, hold, toes are pointed down, core is engaged, and then release. Draw the right knee back into tabletop. Extend the spine, crown of the head pointed towards the front of the mat. So really lengthen that neck, maybe release that chin just a tiny bit more. And then draw the left hand towards center, release right arm up towards the sky, twisting. And then on the exhale, threading that right hand underneath the left arm, centering, recentering the hips. So usually when I, when I do that, my hips tend to go towards the left. So recenter. And then sinking that right shoulder into the mat, release the right side of the head towards the earth. Extend left arm long. Sink everything down. Deep inhales and exhales. And then slowly on the next exhale, draw the left hand towards the face, pushing the body up. Extend right arm and then release. Extend right leg behind. Core is engaged. And hips are level. A lot of times, if I extend that right leg, that right hip is going to pop up a little bit. So really allow the, the hips to stay neutral here. Maybe a micro bend in the elbows. Left arm is extended long, thumb pointed up. Inhale, lifting the right toes off of the mat. Try to extend everything long. Core is engaged. 
And then exhale, bring elbow to knee, curling in as if you're pushing the, pushing the earth away, curling the spine into cat. And then extend long. Inhale, bending elbow to knee, extend everything long. Inhale, extend. One more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. And then release the left hand down. Inhale, lifting that right leg even further up and then arcing it over towards the left. Recenter those hips. Release that mat away from the body. And then slowly turn the eyes towards the toes. Deep inhales and exhales. On the next exhale, lifting the leg, coming back to neutral. Extend the legs, the knees out to the long edge of the mat, releasing all the way down into child's pose for three breaths. Three breaths to recenter. After your third breath, Returning back to your tabletop. Extend the left toes. And then just lifting. Toes pointed towards the mat. Core is engaged. Lower. Inhale, lift. And lower. Inhale, lift. Squeezing the glutes. Engaging the core. And lower. Returning the left knee back to tabletop. Bringing the right hand towards center. On the inhale, extend left arm up, twisting, and then exhale, sending the fingertips underneath the right arm, recenter the hips, extend right arm long, releasing the side of the head towards the mat. Sink the body on each exhale. One more deep breath. Long, slow exhale, release the right hand towards the body and coming back up to tabletop. Release that left leg behind the body, right arm extended, thumb is pointed up, engage the core, micro bend in that left arm, release the leg away from the earth. Core is engaged. Inhale, elbow to knee, exhale, extend. Core stays engaged. Round on the inhale, extend everything long on the exhale. Two more times. And then release the right arm back to tabletop. Really engage that left leg, arc it up and over. Resting the toes on the right hand side, slowly looking over the right hand shoulder, towards the toes, opening up the side body. Deep inhales and exhales. Shoulders released away from the ears. And then on the next exhale, slowly release everything back to tabletop. Invite the knees out to child's pose, release. All the way down for three breaths, just to reset. After your third breath, draw the knees together, release the hips down towards the heels. Sitting up nice and tall, finding the alignment, clasping hands behind the back, sending the fists down towards the earth, opening the chest, opening the heart, looking up towards the sky. Shoulders release, core is engaged. Jaw is soft to keep the breath flowing. And then slowly release the, the hands, bring them to the top of the lap. Release the chin to the chest. And then bring the head back to neutral. Release right ear to right shoulder for just a couple of breaths, other side. 
and then coming back to our tabletop, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, engage the core, spine is long, on the inhale, just lifting the knees off of the mat for our tabletop hover. So you can flow with this if this feels like it's too much this morning. Really elongate the spine, core is engaged. Either hold for five breaths or flow with five breaths. And then on the fifth breath, slowly release. Bring the fingertips, the handprints, one handprint in front of where they are, turn the toes under, release the hips high into downward dog. This is our first downward dog, so slowly pedal the feet, bending the knees generously, draw the ears in between the arms. Tailbone is lifted high. Opening up the top of the back, core is engaged. On the next exhale, release right leg towards the sky for three-legged dog. Try to keep the hips neutral. So we're not opening the body here. We're just lifting the leg. Arms are still engaged. Ears still in between the arms. Bending the right knee and then draw that right foot in between the hands. Right knee over right ankle, planting the right hand to the left, <laughs> planting the left hand to the right instep. So toes are, toes are engaged with the mat here. Release the right arm up towards the sky. Hips are neutral. And then you can bind this by turning, twisting the arm, palm facing away, bending the elbow, opening up the chest and the heart just a little bit more. One more breath, exhale, release the arm up towards the sky, and then slowly frame out the right foot. So your choice, you can release the left knee here to rise up, or a little more challenging, keep that left leg straight, right knee over right ankle, and then power up. So still bending into the right knee, left leg long, pressing into that left heel. Core is engaged. Breath is calm. Slowly open the arms, twisting up towards the right hand side. Engage that left leg. Arms are engaged. Eyes are towards the right fingertips. Deep inhales and exhales. Deep breath in through the nose, release the arms, release the torso towards neutral, and then slowly release that right knee to straight so that we can easily turn the body. So we're not putting any pressure on the hips coming into our warrior two. So you may need to check in and adjust the feet just a little bit. Left toes pointed towards the long edge of the mat. Right toes to the front, release the shoulders. Eyes towards the right fingertips, shoulder blades together, core is engaged. Two more deep breaths here. And then straighten the right knee, lean as far as you can, with the right fingertips away from the body. Release the fingertips towards the shin, sweeping the arm up and over. Eyes can be up towards the left fingertips or down towards the ground. The torso is in between two panes of glass for triangle. Core stays engaged. On the next exhale, slowly coming back up Warrior two. Windmill circle the arms, bending all the way down towards the earth, back into our high runner's lunge, stepping right leg back into high plank. Invite low plank, exhale lower, inhale cobra. Exhale, turn the toes under, coming into downward dog, taking three breaths here in downward dog.
Stepping left foot forward, right to meet, forward fold. Bending the knees generously, releasing the top of the head towards the earth, slowly swaying side to side. Release any tension from the jaw. Two more breaths. On the next exhale, sweep the arms up and over. And then sinking the hips down into chair pose. Engage the core, nice long spine, so no swooping of the spine, no tucking. Nice long spine here. Check in with the knees, make sure you can see the toes. If this is too much for the arms, you can release the heart center. And then release standing all the way up. Inhale, sweeping the arms up and over, palms pressed together. Raising the fingertips as high as you can, core stays engaged, exhale, release to the right hand side for crescent moon. Exhale, coming back to center, sinking back down to chair, keeping the hands at heart center. And then hooking that left elbow to the right side of the leg for twisted chair pose. To deepen this, you can open the arms Left fingertips towards the earth, right fingertips up towards the sky. Deep inhales and exhales, release any tension from the jaw. Exhale, release the hands back to heart center, coming to neutral and standing. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over, palms pressed together, reaching up high. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Bending the knees generously, stepping back right leg, Left to meet, high plank. Take another deep breath. Invite the knees to release to the floor. And then slowly coming down. Inhale, cobra, shoulders released. Exhale, turn the toes under into downward dog. Lifting the left leg up for three-legged dog. Bending up the knee and then bringing left foot in between the hands. So really checking in with that left, left knee is over left ankle, right toes are connected, right heel is lifted. Planting the right hand in the left instep, slowly release the left arm up towards the sky, still pressing into that right heel. Maybe we're binding, maybe not. But if you want to bind, you can kind of turn the palm away, bending at the elbow and bringing it to the small of the back. Still pressing the earth away from the body. Legs are engaged. And then on the next inhale, release the left hand high, framing out the foot. So again, modification, you can release the right knee down towards the earth or power it up into your high runner's lunge. Slowly opening, twisting, coming out to the left hand side, reaching the arms, maybe looking out towards the left fingertips. Arms are parallel with the floor. Shoulder blades are meeting, shoulders released, core is engaged. On the next inhale, release the arms sinking in one more time, and then slowly releasing the left knee so that it's easier for your hips to twist coming into warrior two. So my right toes are pointed to the long edge of the right side of my mat, left toes pointed towards the front. Shoulder blades drawn together, arms parallel, looking out over the left fingertip. Bending into the left knee, left knee over left ankle. Squaring the hips to the long edge of the mat. It's a lot of cueing. One more deep breath here. Long, slow exhale, release the left knee straight. Coming into triangle, reaching with the left fingertips away from the body as far as they'll go. And then release left fingertips to the shin Sweeping the right arm up for triangle. So remembering not to lose the top body towards 
the front. We want two panes of glass. So the whole top body is in between two panes of glass. No need to reach the floor here. Think about right fingertips making a line through the shoulders all the way to the left fingertips. One more deep breath here. Slowly exhale, coming back up to neutral. Bending into the left knee and then windmill circling the arms, pivoting on that back foot and then releasing left leg, high plank. Release to the knees, slowly exhale, come towards the floor, inhale, cobra. Exhale, turn the toes under, coming into downward dog. Take three breaths in downward dog. Look between the hands, stepping left foot forward, right to meet, forward fold. Release the top of the head towards the earth. Release those shoulders away from the ears, soften the jaw. Maybe a slight sway side to side. You can hold opposite elbows here or even hug around the back of the knees. Release the hands on the next inhale. Sweep the arms up and over, taking your time. Palms pressed together, fingertips raised towards the sky, engage the core, engage the glutes. Exhale, leaning towards the left hand side, fingertips are reaching and then coming back to neutral. Exhale, chair pose. Sinking the hips, nice long spine here. So remember, no uh, sway of the back, no tucking too much, nice long spine, shoulders are released. To power this up, arms near the ears. Check in with the, with the toes, make sure you can see the toes beyond the knees. This can be a flow, so if this feels too strong, always standing and then slowly releasing. One more deep breath here. Long, slow exhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center, thumbs to the heart, reminding us we are all connected by no mistakes. Sinking the hips low, and now hooking the right elbow to the outside of the left. And then using that leverage to allow the twist to bring the thumbs back to heart center. To deepen this pose, open the arms. Left arm up towards the sky, right arm towards the ground. Continue the breath. I know we're building some fiery energy. And then returning the hands to heart center returning the body back towards the front of the mat and release. Sweeping the arms up and over, palms pressed together, exhale the heart center. Maybe invite the legs to shake out just a little bit. I'm feeling it. I'm sure you're feeling it too. I hope it makes you feel strong. Maybe a tiny bit humble, because that's how I'm kind of feeling right now, is a tiny bit humble but also giving so much gratitude for everything that my body is capable of doing. Continue deep, long inhales and exhales. Engage the feet connected with the earth. Feel all four corners of both feet. Engaging the legs, the glutes, the core, releasing the shoulders away from the ears. Calm the breath. Bring yourself back to center. and then releasing the arms down. Bending the right knee, I'll turn towards you, bending the right knee, sending the right knee out towards the right hand side. Release the shoulders. And then find your tree pose. So either heel beneath, below the knee, or you can draw the foot into the high inner thigh. Right knee is rotated towards the earth. Find your heart center, extend the arms, up overhead and then release. Shoulders released away from the ears, jaw is soft. To challenge, our, to challenge our balance from here, and since we're working so much on legs, bring your hands back to heart center and let's give your quads a good stretch. So balance challenge 
Either put the toe down and, and join me where you are, or release from your tree, catch the top of the right foot with your right hand. Coming into dancer pose, extend left arm in front, find a drift D, find a focal point, engage the core. And then as you press the right foot into the right hand, slowly leaning forward. And then stepping back, release the hands, stepping back, coming into our high runner's lunge, sweeping the arms up and over. If you would like to invite another vinyasa or sun salutation, release all the way down to the floor. So bringing the hands to the floor, bending generously into that left knee, stepping back to high plank. If you would like a rest, invite child's pose here until we come back up to our standing position. So inhale, cobra, exhale, turn the toes under in the downward dog. Take a breath. Look between the hands, stepping left foot forward, right to meet, forward fold. So if you're in child's pose, start releasing from child's pose and slowly coming to the front of your mat to join us. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over, palms pressed together, exhale to heart center. Bending the left knee, toes connected, sending the left, knees, left knee out to the left hand side. Hips are square, finding where it feels good to plant your foot for tree pose. Toes can remain connected. This is still, still a good stretch even if the toes are connected to the earth. So decide where you are with your balance and flexibility today. Once you find your focal point and you have stillness in the body, then release the arms up towards the sky, open the arms, shoulders release, jaw is soft. And then releasing the arms down, balance challenge, release the foot away from the body, catching the left foot with the left hand. Squaring the hips off to the front of your mat, Slowly hinging at the hips for dancer. Core stays engaged. On the next exhale, release left foot behind high runner's lunge. Sweeping the arms up and over. And then exhale, release the hands down to the ground. Once again, coming into our plank pose, if you need a break, Invite child's pose here. Otherwise, release to the knees. Slowly lower everything down. All the way. Release one hand on top of the other. Forehead to the top of, top of the head. Forehead to the top of the hand. Release. Release everything down. If you are finished with your child's pose and you want to join us, Please slowly release the body, belly button to the mat, release everything down. And then slowly release the head, keep the right arm planted on the mat, shoulders are released, bending the left knee, and then see if you can catch either the ankle or the top of the foot. No craning of the neck here. So we'll keep the neck as neutral as possible. And then pressing the top of the foot into the hand. If you can't quite reach the top of the foot, maybe a pant leg, maybe, maybe you're just bending into the knee there. And then slowly release, bending both knees, windshield wipering back and forth, forehead release to the top of the hand. On the next exhale, slowly release both knees and then switching sides. So left arm is connected with the mat, reaching back for the right foot. Pressing the top of the foot into the hand, releasing the shoulders. Stretching out the legs that we just worked so beautifully. 
and then slowly release. One hand on top of the other, forehead to the top of the hand, windshield wiper back and forth. Keeping the knees bent and then reaching from both feet at the same time, coming into bow. So bow, on the inhale, we're going to lift. So pressing the, the tops of the feet into the hands naturally allows the knees to release away from the mat. Shoulders released away from the ears, opening up. So my shoulders are released and my shoulder blades are coming together here. Eyes are right in front of the mat. So we're not craning the neck too much. And then slowly release everything down. One hand on top of the other, bending the knees, windshield wipering one last time. And then release the legs. Sliding the hands next to the chest, elbows tucked in for baby cobra flow. If you want more of a challenge for your arms, even though today's legs and core, um, you may hold this for five breaths. Um, not holding the breath, you can hold the pose for five breaths. So elbows tucked in tight to the body, eyes down towards the mat here, and then slowly on the inhale, lifting. So not full cobra, full cobra is a little bit higher, so we're just doing baby cobra here to really target the tricep. Eyes are right at the front of the mat. So either hold for five breaths or flow. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. One more time, inhale, release everything down. Take three breaths, forehead connected. Hands are still planted next to the chest on the floor. And then on your next inhale, pushing the floor away from the body, coming into child's pose. So drawing the knees together here, releasing any tension from that lower back by sinking the hips to the heel, maybe releasing the forehead to the mat, sweeping the arms next to the body. One more deep breath here and then slowly coming back up. So, if you, if you don't like, <laughs> if you don't like working with your arches too much, you can invite the body into hero pose. If you don't like sitting on the heels, you can always raise up on top. Did you hear my knee crack? So your choice here, but to really work with the arches, um, I mean, yeah, I wear, <laughs> I wear, I wear flip-flops and it's not great for my feet. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the toes to the mat and then we're sitting the hips back to the heels here. So right now I have my toes connected and kind of the very top of the balls of the feet connected. So as I'm sitting back, like I feel a great stretch in my arch. So find your alignment, find your stillness, Again, if you have limitations in your knee, invite that pillow or the towel or blanket underneath the knees. Calm the breath. One more deep inhale through the nose. Long, slow exhale to release. And then slowly coming back to our seated position. So just curl the legs underneath and extend the legs long. Crossing right leg over left, sitting up nice and tall. So left knee is up, the four corners of my right foot are connected with the earth. So sitting up tall, finding that alignment, and then wrapping left elbow around right knee, extend and release that right hand behind. Inhale, lift the spine, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist, keeping the left knee and the left toes pointed towards the sky. So using the left arm wrapped around that right knee to kind of bring a little bit deeper of a twist into the body. Feeling the sit bones connected with the earth. Long, slow exhale to release. And then drawing 
the top of the right foot into the crease of the left. So this is um, a half lotus fold. If this is not available to you, you can release the foot towards the knee, never any pressure on the knee. If that still feels like it's too much, you can draw the left foot in to the inside of the left leg. So your choice, whatever feels good. As the top of my left foot is in the crease of, no, as the top of my right foot is in the crease of my left, just check in with the right knee, making sure there's not a lot of pressure or tension or pulling on that right knee. So really listening to your body. Find the sit bones, left knee, left toes pointed towards the sky. Release the arms up, fingertips pointed towards the sky, shoulders release. Engage the core and then hinging at the hips, leaning forward, releasing the fingertips to the earth. So if the top of the foot is bothering any part of that quad, just move it around just a little bit to find a sweet spot and then leaning into it. So you're getting a great right hip stretch and you're getting a great stretch throughout the whole left leg. Toes are pointed up towards the sky. Release those shoulders, release the jaw so that you can breathe deeply in through the nose, filling the body, resetting. Maybe checking in with your intention for the day. What is it that you want out of today? Sometimes if we speak the words or think the words, that's what we draw our focus to. So maybe revisit what your intention is for the practice, maybe even the intention for the day ahead. One more breath. Long, slow exhale to release. Release the right leg long. Crossing left over right. Right knee and right toes pointed up towards the sky. Find your sit bones, release those shoulders. Left foot, all four corners of the foot are connected with the earth. Wrap the right elbow around the left knee. Left hand, release behind the body. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist, using that right arm as leverage. Looking up over the left shoulder. Deep inhales and exhales. Each inhale we're lengthening, each exhale we're twisting. On your next exhale, slowly unwinding, inviting the top of the left foot into the right crease. Checking in with your sit bones, find your alignment. Right toes pointed up, right knee pointed up. Inhale, sweeping the arms up and over, hinging at the hips, coming into a half lotus forward fold. And then slowly release. Bring the bottoms of the feet together in butterfly. The closer the heels are to the hips, the deeper the stretch. Hinging at the hips, maybe even the elbows can be like if you have your hands on your ankles and your elbows on the inner thighs, you can use those elbows as leverage for a deeper stretch. Long spine, deep breath. and then release. Drawing the knees up towards the sky, scooting maybe a little bit forward for our boat pose, rocking away from the sit bones, loading the, the legs parallel with the floor. Or you can straighten them. Palms facing up towards the sky. If your legs have had enough, keep the toes connected with the mat. You can flow with this, so inhale, raise the legs up parallel, and then exhale, release. Or you can hold the pose for five breaths. One more deep breath, and then long, slow exhale. So I'm gonna give you a choice. Since this is core, everything that we've done, anytime our core is engaged, we are doing core work. 
But if you would like intentional core work, we can float, instead of doing our mindful release down to the mat, float the legs back up parallel and slowly extend the legs leaning back. So really leaning back, extending the legs, taking a breath, and then releasing. If you're like, forget that, you can go back to what we normally do by just slowly releasing from the feet planted. Or you can just meet me on the mat with your back, your shoulders, your hips connected with the mat. Drawing the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a hug and a kind word. Release the chin a little bit closer towards the chest. And then using your peace fingers, find those big toes, inviting happy baby. This one should feel really good after all of the leg work that we've done today. So drawing those knees in towards the armpits and then just slowly rocking side to side. It might feel good to extend one leg long, flexing the foot, extend the other leg long, flexing the foot, maybe drawing the bottoms of the feet together into an inclined or an inverted butterfly, pressing the bottoms of the feet together drawing the knees in towards the chest one more time. If you love plow pose, plow pose is such a good inversion for, it's for your thyroid health. It brings that, that fresh blood really into the heart and into the brain. So you can just slowly release the legs straight and then assist the hips with the hands, bringing the toes behind the head. So the weight of the body is in the shoulders here, not in the neck and the head. So you can release the fingertips if you can hold the weight in the shoulders or just hold the hips in place. One more deep breath, long, slow exhale, and then coming into kind of a, a hovering tabletop, a floating tabletop, not hovering, floating. Open the arms up into a T, Slowly lower the knees to the left-hand side, looking out over the right. For a deeper stretch, you can straighten the legs, maybe grab onto a toe, or keep the knees bent and just place a hand right on top of the right thigh. Slowly draw the knees back to neutral, give yourself a hug, and then release the knees to the right-hand side looking up over the left. Long, slow inhales and exhales, extending the legs long or placing the right hand on top of the left thigh. On the next exhale, slowly releasing the knees back to the chest, give yourself a hug. Invite any last movements that might feel good to the body to start closing our practice. So maybe it's just rocking side to side. Maybe it's another happy baby. Maybe it's another inverted butterfly. And then as you feel ready, release the feet up towards the sky. Fingertips underneath the hips, engage the core, release the shoulders. Slowly lower the heels all the way down. Nice and controlled. And then as the heels start to connect with the earth, release the fingertips from the hips and start settling the body in. Release the arms next to the side, palms facing up. Let the feet naturally release. Maybe make some micro adjustments so that you feel at ease. Invite the eyes to close or invite the eyes to be still. Feel the vibration of the body in the palms of the hands and in the soles of the feet. Feel the cool air crossing over the skin. Release any tension from the top of the feet and slowly release each toe one at a time. Soften the lower legs, release any tension from the knees and the upper legs. Soften the hips. Release any tension from the stomach. 
Soften the lower spine and the upper spine. Moving the shoulders away from the ears, opening up the chest and the heart. Softening the upper arms and the elbows, releasing the lower arms. Softening the skin on the tops of the hands. Release each finger one at a time. Relax the neck, soften the jaw, release the cheeks, ears, nose. Release any tension from the eyes and the forehead. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhale, release from the top of the head, washing through the body and out the bottoms of the feet. For just a few moments, I'll let you rest. And then you'll hear my voice again. As you start to hear the sound of my voice, start bringing awareness back to your space. Checking in with the breath and the stillness. Giving gratitude for that stillness. Knowing that stillness is so hard to attain sometimes. With the worry that we have, the things that we must do or feel we must do. Invite small movement into the fingers and toes, and as you feel ready, slowly rolling to one side, keeping the eyes closed. Maybe checking in with your intention one last time before we close our practice. Gratitude always for the body's abilities. Gratitude for what is. So focusing on what we have and what we can do so that we aren't brought down by the things that we feel like we are lacking. So know when I say you are beautifully and perfectly made just the way that you are, exactly the way that you are. Let's celebrate what is because there's so much there to be grateful for. Gratitude for everything that our minds are capable of. Know that you are worthy of love and connection. Exactly the way that you are. So today I encourage you to show up to your people and to the community that you may come in contact with. Vulnerably and authentically. Step into your power, step into your light. Know you are a blessing. As you feel ready, slowly join me in a seated position to close our practice out. Finding your cross-legged position or whatever feels comfortable to you, bringing the fingertips to the earth, finding the alignment once more. Opening the palms up towards the sky and on the inhale, Scooping up this beautiful energy you help create into the palms of your hands. Exhaling all of that towards your heart center, thumbs to the heart, reminding us that we are all connected by no mistake. So may you be safe. May you be well. May you be at ease.
and may you have peace. Peace within to share peace throughout. Namaste, the light in me honors the light in you.